Hello, I'm Pete Jefferson. The following rant is an opinion based on common sense and a little knowledge about the world we live in. I would like to pass along some of that common sense to the big oil companies and the politicians who are on their payrolls, but know that it would only fall on deaf ears of the people who can't see past the next election or profit reporting period. Sometime during the fall of 2011, during my normal inattention during a TV commercial break, I noticed a couple of sentences so incredibly stupid that it actually got me to turn around and listen. It upset me so much that I finally caught it during the taping of one of our weekly TV shows that we taped so I, I could be completely sure of what I heard. Conoco, in an attempt to show some sort of higher education connection, or something to the effect that college students know all, has a scene where a couple of young people are gathered around a professor type, and in a very short discussion about energy, of which is a short excerpt, student one. Okay, there's enough energy right here in America. Student two, yeah, over a hundred years worth. Student three interrupting, you just, you can't just ignore the environment. Student two, actually it's cleaner. Student three, and it provides jobs and it helps our economy. That's followed by some gibberish about saving the environment, yada, yada, yada. Stuff thrown in to make them look like intellects and have all the enthusiasm of young, innocent college kids. It barely mentions nitro gas at the end as if added in as an afterthought. I hate to think that is what is really being thrown at college kids today. Not that I've ever been any kind of environmentalist at being the king of waste, but I have a, enough sense to realize that we are playing with the future of mankind when the energy companies are run by folks who believe they only need to convince us that we're going to be okay because we have a whole hundred years worth of energy. And maybe, just maybe they're talking about the natural gas, which has taken billions of years to form. If we are run out of gas at the hundred year mark, are we going to start on trees that are still standing? That would be good for another 10 years, if that long. Then what? Coal? Turn West Virginia into a toxic waste dump and pretty quick order. Wow. What alternatives? My gut feeling is this ad serves as some sort of preparatory PR work to prepare us for bigger messes they're going to get us into, such as fracking for natural gas. Google the word fracking for some eye-opening and somewhat scary information. That's F-R-A-C-K-I-N-G. Human growth has demanded so much energy that we're in dire straits if you think out more than 20 or 30 years of more of this growth. The world has a balance of resources that has kept it going over the billions of years in, of existence. We come along and start ripping out oil and gas from the ground at faster and faster rates. Instead of pulling coal out of mines now, we are beginning to just start at the top and shave the mountain out of existence. The beautiful landscape of West Virginia and other states is being ruined by this new method of mining coal. It also creates huge problems of waste and pollution of the water supplies. We can't begin to imagine what the long-term damage to the environment is going to be. There are other avenues of energy to be explored. The atom, gravity, and the energy that is the universe. The universe is a ball of energy. It wouldn't stay together to create all of the billions of stars and galaxies without having an incredible amount of power. We don't know how to measure it or tap into it yet, although I suspect there are a few brilliant people looking into it. Look for my other energy video named Earth's Energy out on my YouTube channel, Pete Jefferson 2, one word, no space, for more thoughts along these lines. My purpose here is to hopefully make you aware of the lack of foresight of the people who have the power, no pun intended, to rule our lives by controlling the energy distribution and the money of the nation and perhaps the world. Anyone who honestly believes we can go to the bank on a hundred years worth of gas is really sick. That isn't a blink of 
the eye of human existence. And if we want to keep civilization alive in this world, we'd better put our best and brightest to work on solving the problem and not trying to appease the public with the 100 years nonsense. That's just the way I feel. Thanks for listening.